Bust down. Anyway. Now we're going to react to unapologetic, unapologetic podcast. Crack saved my life requested by Desiree. But before that, make sure to like, subscribe, put on the notification bell and tell your mama. And we only accept negative comments. You know, I was bullied a lot as a kid. And like most bullied kids, I turned to drugs. Now this isn't gonna be one of those, uh, you know, drugs are bad, don't do it kids, kind of stories. Fuck no. I'ma tell you how crack cocaine saved my life. See, we grew up kind of poor, so mom bought all our clothes at the thrift stores, consignment shops, and that's fine. Like, she did the best she could. She would bring home name brand shit. The sizes would just be off. I remember being like 4'11", 108 pounds, dressed in a big and tall polo shirt, okay? I look like fucking Macaulay Culkin dressed as Shaq for Halloween. I look like LL Cool J fucked McLovin in the ass and I fell out nine months later. That's how I was dressed, okay? Some of the clothes would have like cigarette burns in them. It like I'm smoking blunts in the fifth grade. All my buddies are shopping at Hollister. I look like I'm shopping at the uh, Holocaust. Can we get to the music? I remember Birkenstocks were a big deal for whatever reason, you know, and I wanted some. And mom just hollows out these potatoes. It was like baked potato slides. My fucking toes smell like tater tots. I didn't want to go to school like kids were making fun of me so I started skipping I would wait at the end of the driveway every morning and when I would hear the school bus coming I would look at my little brother and be like if you say a word I'm gonna shove my foot so far up your ass your breath will smell like french fries all day and I would just pew, take off running through the yard I sprint so fast I got my 2x yeah, fabric the music, the shirt please. on just flapping in this the wind this is Desiree's donation request have some respect oh she paid for this yeah Carry on. Okay, it was two my bucks, bad. but still. And no, it don't matter. Look, <laughs> yeah, any, any donation helps. Yeah. Any donation helps. Yeah. Carry on. My bad. My mistake. Yeah, so pay attention. Shut the fuck up and play. You should the pay attention. Game, I don't give a fuck what you think. I'll close my goddamn eyes and take a fucking nap if I feel like wait, it, bitch. Wait, what are you <laughs> What you gonna do if I fucking take a nap right now? Not a goddamn thing. So shut the fuck up. What are you doing here then? Hey, You're gonna take a fucking I'm, nap. I'm, nigga, it don't don't fucking matter. Play the song. What do you think they're doing this? So I'm here so they don't have to nap? look at you in here. You're annoying ass so, boy. So you can take a nap? Bro, press fucking play. Pay attention. You fucking poofta. Pay attention. Birkenstocks were a big deal for whatever reason, you know, and I wanted some. And mom just hollows out these potatoes. It was like baked potato slides. My fucking toes smell like tater tots. So I didn't want to go to school. Like kids were making fun of me. So I started skipping. I would wait at the end of the driveway every morning, and when I would hear the school bus coming, I would look at my little brother and be like, if you say a word, I'm going to shove my foot so far up your ass, your breath will smell like french fries all day. And I would just pew, take off running through the yard. I'd sprint so fast. I got my 2X Abercrombie shirt on, just flapping in the wind. I like a fucking flying squirrel. Then I would just hide out in our shed for about an hour until Mom went to work, and I'd push our go-kart up to the bathroom window and climb back inside and just chill. I'd just be in there eating chicken nuggets, watching Prices Right, Days of Our Lives. Life was good, you know? I did that a lot of times until one morning I ran inside the building and there was two guys in there smoking crack cocaine. Scared the shit out of me. I went running in there. I put the brakes on them like, Urgh! I'm just looking at them. They're looking at me. My fucking shoes look like mashed potatoes. Pretty sure I shit on myself. And I was just like, hey, I ain't supposed to be in here either. We sat there in awkward silence for a little bit, and one of them finally spoke up. He was like, ain't you supposed to be in school? I was like, ain't you supposed to be at work, dad? Uh, nah, I'm just kidding. It wasn't my dad. I didn't know him yet. But after a while of talking to him, I become friends with these guys, old Fentanyl Frank and One-Eyed Joe. And I told him I didn't go to school because kids were bullying me. And they were like, what the fuck? You want us to go steal the copper out of their AC units? I was like, no, I don't see how that would help. But if you come scare the fuck out of these kids, my grandpa does heat and air. I'll show you where his scrap pile is. That part was funny. And let me tell you something. They were on my side already. But when I told them that, I could have talked these dudes into sucking my penis straight through my butthole. They're like, whatever we need to do, we'll do it. Swear to God. <laughs> now, Joe didn't have any teeth, so I gave him my vampire teeth from last year's Halloween. Let me tell you something. I never got fucked.
fucked with again because the next day I got escorted to school in eighth grade by two grown men in denim shorts. One has vampire teeth, the other has four teeth. Two of them are in his pocket. They have nipple chains and matching Winnie the Pooh and Tigger tattoos. I like the crackhead Tony Montana. Nobody's fucking with that. So let me tell you something. My advice if you're getting bullied is don't use drugs. Use druggies. And don't wear potato skins on your feet. Shout out Build to Yovan, I guess. This is so bad that it's funny sometimes. It's, it's bad that it becomes funny sometimes. Is this like, uh, what do you call it? You know, Redneck like, humor. You, look, look, you know, I, you, Nemo, you're right. You know, I just, you know, I just want to, I want to laugh from the pain of not laughing. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just like, I, I just want to force something out, <laughs> you know? So when he said like, you want to go to the copper other AC unit? He's like, uh, no, I don't think that's going to help. You know, that was like a, a Theo Vaughn. That's something Theo Vaughn would say, you know? So shout out Theo Vaughn. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, and and I think that was pitch corrected. Yeah, that was pitched up for sure. And uh I don't know. I wanted to I wanted it to be funny, but you know. It was only funny when it when I thought it was so bad that it became funny, you know what I mean? Like I was laughing because it was so bad. You know what I mean? But I guess uh, that worked. We're gonna listen to it. We're, we're just not a reaction upload, is it? Are we still uploading this reaction? I guess, of course. Because yeah, we're not. Yeah. All right. Well, we what do you think? Wait, hold on. Why do you song. think I'm recording shit? Think I'm doing that for uh, for fun? Bro, bro, bro. Everything I say doesn't need to turn into a side conversation. Oh, but you, you're acting stupid. Okay, okay. Okay. No. No. You need to like focus on the one topic. All right. You're acting stupid. It's really not that serious. All right. Are, are you well, you're on the my ass this? whenever I say something oh, stupid. My God. Are you done right? with the reaction to this? Are you done with the reaction to this? Yeah. All right. Pull up a song by Flying Lotus, please, called... Hold on. I have to do the Bazam. Haven't you learned just yet? Bazam! <laughs> 